Welcome back to Garage Gym Gains. I'm Ricky, and today we're going to be talking about the captains of Crush Grippers. So the captains of Crush Grippers are not an overly complicated piece of equipment or accessory to have in your gym, but they are super helpful. Most people are neglecting their grip training, uh, whether they're training at home or in a commercial gym, most people just aren't training their forearms, they aren't training their grip strength. Uh, really the only thing most people do for grip is not use straps on deadlifts, and that is a great way to train your grip, but there's more direct ways to do it, specifically, the captains of crush grippers. Now I have seven in front of me. You might be asking, why do you need seven of the same thing? And I have an answer for you. Uh, they're not the same thing. So guide, sport, trainer, one, one and a half, two, 2.5. So that's in progressively difficult ranking. So the guide is gonna be the easiest. It kind of guides you through the motion. Uh, that way you can get your technique. It's a great, um, it's a great resistance if you're going to do higher volume training, especially if you're getting first, first getting started. So if you're doing sets of 20 or some speed stuff, like you want to click it like that. Great thing for that. Eventually you'll be able to do that on some of the other ones, but when you're just getting started, the guide would be a good option for that. Uh, most of the time I see these bundled with the guide sport trainer and sometimes the one all together. So it's three or four in a deal. These are about $20 a piece, uh, maybe 25 if you're buying solo, but about $20 if you get them in a bundle. And honestly, for me, it's totally worth it. I've had a lot of fun training with these so far. I haven't had them that long, uh, really just a few months, but it's, it seems like less than that, but it's been, it's been a few months now. I haven't been able to completely close the two and a half yet. I've been real close, uh, but not like a good satisfying click. That one's pretty difficult. I don't know the exact weight on these, uh, but it's pretty easy to find online. I've closed the two a couple times. So I guess when I purchased them, that'd be helpful. I bought the Guide Sport Trainer one, one and a half, and two all together. By the time I closed the two, I went ahead and ordered the two and a half. Uh, they go up to four, I'm not ready for any of those. Once I'm able to close this on a regular day and I'm not just feeling super amped up uh, or anything like that, or maybe once I get it for a few reps, then I'll move on to the three. So you can kind of stagger it that way. Uh, start with the smaller pack, the basic ones. Once you get the hang of those, start working your way up uh, through, through the grippers. So yeah, the guide is pretty easy to just click through them. The sport gets a little more difficult. The trainer, this is where, it's called the trainer, this is where it actually starts to feel like you're kind of doing something. I'll even it out here. Now I'm not a pro at using these grippers at all, but a big thing that I have found when I am using them is it's really important to be able to set your grip properly. I'm not gonna come on here and try to tell you exactly how to set your grip because there's probably other videos you could be watching for that. I'm by no means an expert, like I said, but I like to kind of pull it with my other hand, pull the ring, and you really wanna catch the meat of your hand in here and then catch all your fingers on here and you're kind of pulling with your pinky to help engage your whole, your whole hand. It's important to keep a straight wrist and just, just crush it, as the name implies. Uh, so that was the one. We'll see what we can get up to today. It's a little late in the day and I'm not warmed up, so we'll see. Here's the one and a half. I could probably do that for a few reps. Notice there's not a big difference between uh, strength for me uh, from left to right and right to left, but my right is a little bit stronger. Well, I'm letting the, uh, letting the forearm recover there. The build quality on these is awesome. I mean, there's not a whole lot to them. I have them stored in a garage and I should probably oil them a little bit more. Hopefully you can see there's just a little bit of surface rust on there starting to get on uh, the ring itself. I have oiled these about, I think once, but I'm storing them in almost the worst climate you could. It's uh, non-climate controlled 
garage. So if you have them inside, I would assume they would last a lot longer or at least uh, keep it from getting that surface rust on them. Just like my bars, I need to be oiling these more. But let's give the two a shot while we're here. So you got two there. Let's see if we can match it on the other side. That's tough, that's tough. I'll rest a little bit and we'll give the two and a half a shot. Like I said, I haven't been able to close it yet, but this is something that you could easily, I mean, it's not gonna take up any space really. You could put it in a gym bag, you could take them with you to a commercial gym and it's something you could do in the car. Whenever you have some downtime, you just rattle through a few reps, whether you're doing them quick, or slow, you're gonna be able to build up the work capacity of your forearms to get stronger. That strength is gonna translate onto all your other lifts because you can hold onto the bar better, you have a stronger grip, it's more secure, but let's go ahead and try the two and a half. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Oh, not quite. Almost, I'm not quite there yet. Let's try the other side. No dice on that one either, but overall, I would totally recommend Captains of Crush grippers. You can get certified. Um, I'm not sure exactly how you go about doing that, but some of the larger grippers, uh, there aren't a lot of people that can close them, so you can actually take a video, get certified by a judge, and have that certification uh, for closing whichever gripper it is, which is, which is pretty cool. It's something you can work up to, and it's something you can progress in rather quickly, especially if you've never trained forearm strength before. All in all, I would totally recommend getting the Captains of Crush grippers. Like I said, if you're not a super strong person, um, the first few, go with those. Or if you've never trained grip before, uh, just get the first three, the, the guide, sport, trainer. Get some good reps in with those. Eventually get the one, one and a half, two. If you're deadlifting over five, 600 pounds, chances are you can at least close the one and a half maybe even the two when you just get started. But it's fun, and who doesn't like big forums? That's it for today's video. Again, thank you for watching. If you found it helpful or entertaining, hit the like button below, subscribe if you haven't already. The podcast is live, the Garage Gym Gains podcast. It's on Spotify. It should be on iTunes pretty soon if it's not already, so definitely check that out. It's just Garage Gym Gains. And of course, follow the Instagram, Garage underscore gym underscore gains but a lot of a lot of more a lot more stuff is coming soon uh, so definitely stick around if you like garage gyms or garage gym stuff we'll be here